I'm actually never gonna yell again. My voice hurts so much now. Fortnite did an oopsie. I mean, can we can we even be surprised at this point? Like they've been making oopsies for the last 10 seasons. Like this just game just constantly gets freaking worse, bro. So if you didn't think staring at a black hole for two days and having to learn how to lucid dream so you can crank 90s again was bad. Well, obviously you haven't seen the launch of season two chapter one or chapter one season two or chapter two season okay i don't even know bro it's so confusing by far the best season but the worst start of any season literally the first day of the season the worst packet loss ever and now i'm just saying the entire time i've ever played fortnite right i've never had packet loss at all in fact i've never had packet loss that i would be like what the heck is packet loss when my friends would tell me about them having packet loss I forgot what I'm gonna say next. But finally, after I stopped having packet loss, okay, there was another problem, the FPS. And it's not just running at low FPS, like I could I could play at 60 FPS if I had to, but no, it's dropping from 240 FPS to 20 FPS every single second, causing you to freeze. Like, oh my God, Fortnite, how do you mess up that bad? The best season you ever made, okay? The most fun. Like, I'm just saying, even through all that, FPS stutters and packet loss. I had so much fun, but how do you mess up that bad? Let's freaking go to Fortnite status right now and see what they had to say about this. Okay, look at this bull crap. Look at this absolute bull crap. After investigating this issue, we determined that adjusting the sound quality from high to low and back to high is one way to return performance to normal conditions. Like, where the hell does that logic come from? Like, I understand turning it down from high back to low, but to high to low back to high how does that change anything it's been four days since the season's been out oh my god dude i just want to freaking play i stared at a black hole for six hours and then and then just had to live out the most boring day of my freaking life just to come up to this season and now i feel like i'm never gonna be able to play fortnite at a constant fps ever again now nah, but for real having fortnite taking this long to fix the fps issue has really caused panic in me because i genuinely feel like i'll never be able to play fortnite again because i'm not gonna lie it's so bad that i it's just impossible to play let me show you this clip right now yeah, oh, I was patient. I know it's really hard to see in the video, but the FPS just shows to prove to you. So what up means is the FPS you were supposed to be running at. And then the next display when it shows down is how much FPS you actually had in that second. And then it's just drop. You see it just dropping down to 20 and like 16. And it is horrible. The game is absolutely unplayable. And I feel like a lot of pros aren't having this issue that i see and it's because they have like three 2080 ti's in their computer and their baseline fps is like 240 and if you're running unlimited fps because you know I, I'm always on running unlimited FPS because I ain't ever cat, bro. But yeah, that's why you see streamers and their FPS not dipping. But even though I saw Daquan stream the other day and his FPS kept on dipping to like 40 and I was like, oh my God, I know it takes time to fix bugs and this better be fixed by Tuesday or I'm just going to drop this season. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching me be a, a raging retard. I really enjoyed it. Um, definitely happy that this video is better than yesterday, the other day's video because holy crap bro i wanted to die anyways guys if you did enjoy the video make sure to leave a like a subscribe and turn on notifications and then you'll officially be the coolest person in my book i love you all thank you for watching and peace Fingers on my side.